Hi guys, welcome to BS Movie News Live. Today we've got a few topics to go over with you. Uh, as you may have noticed, we have two plants today. Michael saw that we have two plants. We've got two plants. We did just bring down a large portion of the new set, but it, like we have to bring this shit down in pieces. So next week, uh, I think we should have the rest of it in place and we'll be having a whole new situation, new set going on next week. So we're really excited about showing that. Uh, thanks to everyone who has been donating on our Patreon. Without you guys, this would not be possible. These plants would not be here without you new patrons. Uh, and if you wanna get in on the action, check out uh, patreon.com slash comicbookgirl19. All right, let's do an overview of our topics today before we get into it. Uh, we are going to be talking about Luke Cage. Uh, the new trailer came out for that. Cable, there's some cable news going on. Uh, Blood Father, there's a new Mel Gibson movie. Uh, Avatar, there's gonna be Avatar theme park situation potentially being announced pretty soon. Uh, the, root, the new Rogue One trailer, the official trailer dropped. And then uh, we also are gonna talk a little bit about there's an open letter to DC. Uh, a lot of people have asked me about my thoughts on that. And also uh, Henry Cavill has recently uh, set, like teased a black Superman suit. So those are our topics today. So all right, let's get started. At the top, we've got Luke Cage. Uh, I just watched the trailer for this. I'm so excited for Luke Cage. It's coming out next month in September. I think September 20th is what it was saying on Netflix. I'm super fucking pumped. I think that Luke Cage could not, like this show could not be happening at a more relevant time. You know, I mean, having a bulletproof black man is like, this is it. Like, this is the year for that guy. Like, this is the year for that character. We need him out there. And I'm so fucking stoked. I loved him in Jessica Jones. I hope we get to see some more Jessica Jones. Although from the trailer, it looked like he might be hooking up with Claire Moore, the night nurse, which she still has not been called officially the night nurse, but she's the fucking night nurse, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, I'm super looking forward to it and I will be watching it in September and giving you a review of that later on. Uh, I hope you guys are going to be checking it out as well. I think it's going to be fantastic and I can't believe, like I'm, you know, I've never been a huge Luke Cage, per I've been Luke Cage neutral, you know, for most of my life because I haven't really had, I've been more on the X-Men side of things in the Marvel Universe so I don't really see him very often in the comic books but man, I am super down, like, with his character now. And yeah, the trailer was great and I loved it when Fun fact, when he comes out of the, the tank in the trailer and he's wearing these two bracelets, like uh, whatever, they're gauntlets, and then he's got like a little helmet thing on, that's totally a callback to his costume from uh, the 70s. Um, but yeah, that was like a callback to his, his little deal. Uh, Luke Cage, hero for hire. So I'm in, I'm looking forward to it. Hope we get to see some more hot sex scenes with Luke Cage. That would be awesome. Do it up, Netflix, don't disappoint me. So next up, we've got some cable news. So Kyle Chandler, who apparently, I didn't see Friday Night Lights, but apparently he is the coach in Friday Night Lights. He is, this is not 100% confirmed, but that he may be, he might be playing cable. And, you know, I don't know. He, I, I don't hate it. I mean, you know, you got to see him and all the get up and everything. So, I mean, I don't want to say that he would be terrible at it. I don't know. He might be great at it. But what I do know is that I really was excited for the idea of Ron Perlman being uh, being Cable. I think that Ron Perlman would totally kill it. And there was a lot of great options. Dolph Lundgren, I mean, I'm not against the Dolph Lundgren option. And even Mel Gibson, uh, some people were saying that Mad Mel should be doing some Cable action, which I think, uh, I mean, it's, I'd rather see Ron Perlman, but after seeing the Bloodfather trailer, I feel like he totally looks like rugged as fuck and like he's got big arms in it and stuff. Like he's like kind of buffed out and he's, yeah, he's like a big older dude. So, I mean, I don't know, like he, he might be okay for Cable. I don't know, I think he'd be decent at it. But I just watched the new trailer for the new, uh, the new Mel Gibson movie. He's not like, he's not directing it. He's just like in it, but it's called Blood Father. And it's kind of like, I don't want to say like taken, but it's like his estranged daughter, like she's got these drug dealers after him and then like they like are on the run and uh, all this stuff and it looks really, uh, 
Looks really hardcore. Looks like a lot of intense. Yeah, I hear that this is one of his uh, most intense performances. Okay, so I'm really looking forward to seeing Mel Gibson back on the big screen, giving us a great performance. Uh, I think, yeah, this might be his comeback year. This might be Mel Gibson's comeback year. And I'm on, I'm on Team Mel. I think he should be let out of the doghouse. I'm excited for the movie that he's directing that's going to be coming out pretty soon, uh, Hacksaw Ridge. I think that looks really interesting. And I'm not a war movie person, but I like seeing a conscientious objector who is in a war. That's interesting to me. Like, I'm totally in. So we'll see how that goes. Mel Gibson. All right, moving on. We've got some Avatar news because I know you guys out there are just dying for more Avatar. Yeah, I am. Uh, T-Bone is excited, the one person on the planet who's excited for more so Avatar. Uh, so, so they're expected to be now announcing some big Avatar theme park plans, maybe a D23 coming up. Uh, and yeah, so I guess at Magic Kingdom or something uh, in Florida, they're going to have like an Avatar land where you can go hang out in the Avatar land and like... You know, I mean, like that, like, honestly, like, I'm more interested in the idea of an Avatar theme park than seeing Avatar 2, 3, 4, and 5, which are scheduled from 2018 to 2023. Oh, right I mean, no, that looks like fun. I mean, I love the world building, you know, and I would love to, like, get messed up, take some edibles, go on that raft in the, you know, crazy, yeah, like, I'm in, Those okay? Plants. Yeah, all the plants, when you touch them and they light up, I'm in. But... But I don't know if I'm like fucking stoked for five, four more Avatar movies till 2023. I feel like James Cameron, it's been seven years, guys. It's been seven years since Avatar. Yeah, but Avatar 1 took nine years to get made. <sighs> you know, Avatar 1 took nine years to get made. Ma you know, okay, great, you made it. Move on, James Cameron. Like, you know, I think that James Cameron's really talented, and I feel like, I don't want to see him put all his eggs in the Avatar basket. I would like to see him put his eggs in like making something totally new and doing some awesome stuff. But I think that he's just kind of like, you know, he's an older guy now and he just wants to like, he created this world and he wants to like be, play in his world, I guess. And so, you know, um, will Avatar Land be in 3D? Probably. I don't know. Maybe. It better be. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so... I don't know, Avatar. Do you guys care about Avatar? I mean, do you guys, like, are you excited for Avatar 2? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should have a field trip. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll field trip. Trip is the, <laughs> the main word in there. We're going, we're going. Take some mushrooms and go on that ride. Um, yeah, so, yeah, are you guys excited? I don't know. I, I, is it just, Tyson's making me feel like I'm crazy. Like, T-Bone's over here saying that everyone's just fucking pumped for Avatar movies, and, like, I'm the only one that doesn't no, give I'm a fuck. <laughs> Mainstream, no, mainstream people have got enough on their plate. They don't give a no. fuck. They don't give a fuck. Uh, but yeah, all right, moving on from Avatar news. Uh, I just saw the Rogue One trailer. And, you know, I mean, you know, you know me. I'm not, I'm not like Mrs. Star Wars, you know. I'm not, I'm not drinking the Star Wars Kool-Aid. So, I, but the trailer looked good. Uh, I mean, I've been hearing a lot of, like, a lot of problems behind the set with Gareth Edwards, like he may be locked out of the editing room, there have been a lot of reshoots, seems like they've had a lot of trouble over there at Disney where they kind of gave this guy free reign to do what he wanted and then the guy did what he wanted and then they're like, we don't like this, so now they're going back in and like hacking it all up. So I mean, I hope it turns out okay. You know, it looks like a like a war movie, you know, that's what I heard, like that was like the main complaint from Disney was that it was too dark looking and I mean, it looks... I don't know. So it's a good-looking trailer. It's a good-looking trailer, but you know what? So is Suicide Squad. So you know, so is a lot of movies. So I, I don't really base my my findings on one. Pi Michael, <laughs> you're actually excited. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, Michael, you and T Bone can go see Avatar six that's coming out in, in 2030. You know. Um, but yeah, so Rogue One trailer, it looked interesting. I don't know. I you know, again, I was I didn't know what the what the deal was with this movie at first. Cuz I was saying something like, "Oh, is it another fucking Death Star thing?" you know? Cuz I, I just every movie has a Death Star in it and like they're like, "Yeah, no, this is about the first Death Star." I'm like, "Back to the Death Star." I'm like, "Fuck." But Rich was explaining to me that this is the team that goes and they get they steal the plans for the Death Star and then it works in. So I'm like, "All right." 
I guess, you know. Um, yeah, so Star Wars will finally have an actual war on screen. Yes, Tony. So, I mean, that'll, you know, okay. Um, all right, we'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot, you know. It's just, it's like these, in, I don't know. I'm not, a, I, I, I don't just, I need more, I need to know more about the politics of the Star Wars universe. Like, I feel like we're just told, like, these are the good guys and then these are the bad guys, and then we're never really shown, besides them like just blowing up a planet, which is like really mustache twirler. Like, I don't know, I like Dune and stuff where you like really get into the machinations of like power and like what's going on behind the screen or behind the scenes. And like also with Star Trek to a degree, you know, Star Trek is all about like dealing with other cultures who have different things that don't make sense to you, but you have to respect them. But at the same time, you can't let them infringe upon like, sentient beings rights, you know, and it's like a whole mess. Um, I like that. I like the gray areas a little bit more, but that's just me. Uh, Meredith says, I want them to reboot, but I also want to see Ben Affleck's Batman movie. Agreed. Like, ag I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is such a pickle. This is such a pickle because I'm interested to see what Ben Affleck would do with it. Um, but I'm not excited about like the Justice League movie. Like, I don't, I mean, I just don't know how any of this is going to work. They just, they just didn't really, they just need that Kevin Feige, you know? They just, they don't have that guy who has the vision and, you know, it's like, we can do this and, like, sees all the moving parts, you know? They, they don't have their wizard. I don't believe in the guy that hired You know? Jeff Johns? Yeah. I don't, I don't know if he's the guy. I don't know if I believe in Jeff Johns as the guy who's going to fix all this. I don't, I don't have anything against him and I wish him well. But I don't know if he's if he's the guy. We'll see, we'll see. But I mean, it's crazy. Like, then how are they going to do this Aquaman movie? I mean, like, I don't know. Like, That's the one I'm, excited for the I'm excited. I mean, I am. I am the most curious about the Aquaman movie. I'm the most curious about the Aquaman movie. And it's like, I know they're just they're getting ahead of themselves. They're just like just like with James Cameron these Avatar movies. He's got seriously four movies, like 2018, 2020, 2022. Like, it's like. For, and it's like you're really banking on people loving this fucking franchise dude like I mean you're going to production on all these movies and like I don't know like ugh, you're gambling you know you're gambling so um, yeah Jason I am jaded girl 19 I am it's it's hard out there these movies I you know I was I was talking with T-Bone the other day and I was like you know what this is kind of what I want to do this is a Barbie dream house idea, but I just want to become the next, like turn 19 productions into the next Canon films where we just like try to beat Hollywood to the market and troll them with like really low fi, but super charming knockoff parody movies of, and then when they come out and they're even funnier and they come out like a month before and they're super like whatever, low budget. And then the actual movie comes out and then it's just fucking terrible. It would be a great way to troll Hollywood. I don't know. I want to start trolling them a little bit. I feel like somebody's got to do it. Making a bunch of weird, down and dirty movies might be a lot of fun. Just saying. Just saying. It's it's in the air. It's in the air. It could happen. It could happen. Um, Michael says that he'd like to see Moon Knight, but I don't know if I can even enjoy it in this climate. I think that Moon Knight would work as a Netflix show. I think that Moon Knight would work as a Netflix show. I think that if we go with the, cra like I've been reading the new uh, Moon Knight comic, by the way, and the first arc just wrapped up. And um, I don't know, I don't know how I, I feel about the ending. Cause it's like, again, it's just like, is he crazy? You don't know. And maybe it's a longer play that we're, we're doing here. Um, but I think that Moon Knight is like, especially the Ellis, I think it was Ellis was writing some Moon Knight stuff. That was just great. It was just like single issues and like him just kicking ass. And he was like, wearing the suit it wasn't like it didn't have a cape like he was he was wearing just like a white suit with like a hood with a moon on it it was great um i'm down for moon knight so i bought a moon knight print from bill sinkovich you know, two years ago at san diego comic-con so i don't know uh here a big announcement this big is uh patreon people know about this but the average people don't uh average <laughs> the average person does not because you gotta get on the newsletter that's why i would tell people things yeah. um we have been, uh, we've got a green light. We created a pilot this year, got a green light on it, and we are now working on 13 more episodes, which should start airing in November and December. 
uh, on the Go90 platform. It's called Greater Creators, and it's where we take like our first, our pilot episode is about Jack Kirby. So it's like a 15 minute kind of download on like who Jack Kirby is, why he's important, what he did in his field that like made things like change the way that people create art. They're not all Jack Kirby bio episodes. But yeah, they're not, they're not, they're bio episodes, but it's not like it's, we have like directors, um, we have Dance. like painters, we have, you know, comic book artists, comic we writers. have comic book writers. Uh, we have a whole like novelists um, we're gonna do like an hp lovecraft one so yeah so it should be a lot of fun i'm really looking forward to it but because next month right now our writer is working on all the scripts um for that so while he's doing that i'm trying to do fun things because next month we're going to go into production we're going to be like block shooting a whole bunch of them uh, so it's going to be like a really crazy two weeks. So hopefully like we can still sneak in BS movie news, but it might, we might have like a couple like weeks in September where we're like, we're doing shit and we can't like do this weekly. Um, but yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that. And last question, people were asking if we're doing Mobius or Alan Moore episode. Oh, okay. So T-Bone says there's one more question. People were asking us, are we doing Mobius? and or Alan Moore episodes for Greater Creators, and they are totally on my list. You guys are totally on my list. You guys are gonna love it. Uh, they're on there. Jean Girard, we're, he's totally on there. Um, yeah, I, there's, there's three more actually that I have to pick, and I have a couple more. I was thinking about uh, getting some Miyazaki in there. I wanted to get some Miyazaki in there. Some Jodorowsky's gonna be in there. We're gonna have some Kubrick discussions. In fact, I have to get my whole, okay, so I love Stanley Kubrick conspiracy theories. It's one of my favorite things that I dabble in. And so I have my own timeline of which conspiracies are actually, I feel like, true and like how they affect each of his movies and him. That's so the whole documentary itself. I know, I know. I don't know how we're going to fit it. Well, they're supposed to be 15, but we're going to get, we're going to give Kubrick like five or 10 more minutes and then take five or 10 minutes from other people because he's Kubrick. So Kubrick wins, guys. I don't know. If, you, if you're not, you just check him out, man. He's yeah. the best. But we won't get everyone in in the first season. Um, but yeah, so I mean, yeah, it's not gonna be everybody, but it's gonna be like, I mean, there's gonna be like 14 episodes total. So I mean, that's 14. Yikes. That's a lot of people. Yikes. You know, <laughs> like that's that's a lot of a lot of people to cover. So yeah. we're gonna well, be we'll going over it. We'll keep you posted on how that's going on this show. But yeah, we'll keep you posted how Greater Creators going on this show. Like I said, we're creating that show in tandem with our our YouTube and our live like weekly content. So you know we're gonna have to kind of shuffle some things around. It'll be a little crazy because it's our first big production. We're it's like up. we're gearing up. It's our first like we've been we sold a show. You know, like we sold a fucking show. Our production company and we're growing and we're really excited about it. So, but there's also you know a lot of growing pains that comes along with that. So. Thank you guys so much for coming on to BS Movie News Live. Next week, I swear to Christ, we're supposed to have a set next week. It's like, it's, it's half of, it's half of it's down here. Well, yeah. the big part of it's down here. There's like a smaller part and then a fucking desk that we gotta bring down too. But we only have one truck, we don't have two trucks. And one day a week to be so, here. And one day a week to be here. So it's like, oh uh, yeah, just, you know, we took, we brought the plants, now it's the other thing and another thing. At least it's two plants. It's, yeah, it is, you guys did two plants today. <laughs> so fucking two plants, guys, we're fucking killing it. All right, well, thanks so much for joining us, and uh, we'll be back next Monday, same bat time, same bat channel, talking BS Movie News Live. Thank you so much. Over and out.